What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Almighty Max. When Tabor right to rappers fighting, nowadays, rappers mostly rap about shooting niggas, killing, doing drills. They don't, they're, they're not really boxing no more. They're not really any streets boxing, throwing hands. They're just shooting guns now. You feel me? Look at the latest rapper that just got allegedly shot somebody, a K-Flock. Hopefully, he did not do it. Hope he didn't. That's a completely different video I'll, I'll probably make on that. But I hope he's not that dumb to fucking kill somebody while his career is coming up. But have fun to the video, man. If you're new, drop a like, subscribe, rap, bro, to 1K. crazy. From shootouts and stabbings to wild fights, anything could happen. Here's a look at some of the craziest rapper fights that have gone down over the past few years. G Herbo and Lil Bibby. G Herbo and Lil Bibby are two childhood friends and rappers from the south side of Chicago. Both started popping off after the track Kill Shit blew up back in 2012. Herb followed up with the project Welcome to Phaseo Land in 2014, and Bibby went on to drop the Free Crack mixtape series in 2013. Starting in 2010, when the Chicago drill scene was hot and emerging really helped both artists, but they managed to set themselves apart and build successful careers by creating their own sound and loyal fan base. With all success comes drama. In 2016, Herb and Bibby were involved in a massive brawl at a venue in New Haven, Connecticut. The two rappers were performing at a club called Toad's Place in August 2016 when there was some drama between their entourage and security at the venue. Footage of the fight shows Bibby taking off his chain, and then all of a sudden you hear someone yell that there's a fight. Now you know he's about to get busy when he take off the chain. The nigga say, yo, let me, let me take that so nobody try to use it as a, you know what I mean? Like, try to yank it off my neck or try to fucking hold me down with the chain and shit by pulling it. Yeah, it's like when girls take off their earrings, that's the equivalent to that. You know she about to go down. Oh, shit, bro. A fight. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, shit. I can't see. I was really, I seen, like, one nigga head. Baby still hasn't got touched. nowhere. Everyone starts throwing punches, including Herb and Bibby, and the crowd goes nuts. It's hard to tell from the footage exactly what happened, but rumors began to circulate online that Bibby got his chain snatched, and the crew went after the dude who got it. But in the beginning of the video, you can see Bibby taking off his chains and giving them to someone in his crew. So unless someone snatched a different chain... Nah, they probably took it from the nigga that he gave it to. They probably saw him give the chain to that guy and was like, let's just beat this nigga up and take the chain from him. That's probably what happened. The rumor doesn't make any sense. Herb later did an interview with DJ Vlad, and said that neither he or Bibby was touching the incident. They jumped in to help their friend when they saw something going down, but the actual fight started after their crew got into it with security. A reporter from a media outlet called In Your Ear Hip Hop followed up with one of the security from the venue to find out his story. Yeah, you could clearly see that Bibby was just standing back watching his niggas beat the shit out that guy, and Herb was just like threw like one, two punches and just backed off. Like, niggas did not get touched. The bouncer revealed that the brawl was started after the rapper security guard's brother tried to get into the backstage area without permission. The security team didn't know the dude, and no one official had vouched for him either, so they wouldn't let him backstage. He ended up wilding out on security guards, and they responded by beating him up. The bodyguard was pissed that they put hands on his brother, but the bouncers said they were just doing their job. This set off an all-out war between the rapper's entourage and the security guards at the venue, which is what resulted in the fight you see on camera. Last night was over one uh, altercation that went down between another security guard and uh, Bibby's bodyguard little brother. I guess, you know, earlier on in that night, um, the bodyguard's little brother had, you know, came through and was, I guess, trying to get downstairs to the VIP room and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. But nobody really knows, you know, who, who the f he was. Like, nobody really knows Bibby's bodyguard, let alone his little brother or whatever. And, okay. you know, the way we work, you know, you're not really going down there unless somebody clears you, as in, you know, Bibby, Bibby's manager or the owner, you know, someone important to promote it to anybody like that. So Herb and Bibby weren't even the ones who caused the fight. They just got caught up in the drama. That's an L bodyguard, bro. I get your brother got beat up, but, bro, you're on a job right now. But if you're my bodyguard and you start a fight over some shit like that because your brother got beat up, not even somebody in my crew, nigga, like, why is your brother even starting problems to begin with? If they're not letting him in, nigga, he just take his ass back upstairs, call you to tell me to let him in. But he shouldn't start trying to get angry with niggas and try to fight and shit. That's an L, bro. I, I would not even pay the nigga that was me. I'm like, oh, he put my life in, in danger over, over his brother doing some dumb shit. Fuck that. Herb recently did appear on Gilly the Kid's Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, where he says he eventually had to start rolling with a huge crew of dudes to every show because it only causes problems. He doesn't mention this fight in particular, but he says that they had to move smarter. If something pops off between his crew and someone else, he's the one who gets thrown under the bus, just because he's the biggest name and has the money. That seems to be exactly what happened with this fight. Herb and Bibby just jumped in to help their friends, and the internet went wild with rumors. At least Herb seems to have learned a lesson and now keeps a tighter circle when conducting business. 
This next rapper punched a fan in the face after he grabbed him at a show, then apologized and invited him on stage afterward. Yup, you heard that right. Here's what happened. XXX Tentacion. XXX Tentacion was a rapper and singer from Broward County, Florida. X had a short yet highly influential career full of chart topping hits and major controversies before he was tragically murdered outside of a motorcycle dealership in Deerfield Beach, Florida on June 18, 2018. He'll always be remembered as an icon who shaped the sound of the late 2010s, but his life was full of ups and downs that included punching the fan in the face at a show and then apologizing for it afterward. On July 16, 2017, X was performing in Salt Lake City at a stop on his revenge tour and things got wild. He went into the crowd to connect with some of the fans, but before getting off stage, he told them not to touch him. When he went into the crowd, a fan grabbed him by the chest and X went off. He socked the dude right in the face and got all up in his face oh, before shit. turning away. The kid clearly didn't expect that reaction because he looks pretty dazed and quickly backs up when X starts pressing him. After the attack, X got back up on stage and apologized to the dude that he hit and invites him up on stage for the rest of his show. At the time, X was often given a bad rep by media for being aggressive and violent. Yo, I think I saw the one where X got knocked out. Yo, RP X, bro, but that shit was crazy. Man. That nigga just got on stage and just slumped that nigga. He put that nigga to sleep, bro. Information about his domestic abuse case for allegedly beating his ex-girlfriend had been released earlier that year and made him a target for media hate. All blogs and other outlets showed the clip to paint X as a violent artist who even took anger out on his own fans. X went on social media to explain why he hit the fan, claiming it was acting in self-defense. He says he was just exhausted after being on a long tour. He warned his fans not to touch him and said he felt violated after the guy grabbed his chest. He wasn't sure if he was grabbing for his chain or if he was trying to harm him, which is why he reacted so aggressively. X definitely overreacted, but the fan did grab him out of nowhere after he already warned them. Nah, X is stupid though. You jump into a crowd of niggas that love you and uh, admire you, and you telling them don't touch, me. nigga, they gonna touch you, bro. Come on, my nigga, like, come on, you're a legend and shit, but at that time that was some stupid shit to think about. Like, nigga, you don't touch me, nigga, they gonna touch you, bro. They love you, they idolize you. Now, come on now. But no one was seriously injured, and the artist did try to make it right by inviting him on stage. This next artist kicked the fan in the face after he yelled something the rappers didn't like. Here's the wild story. Lil Pump. Lil Pump is a rapper from Miami, Florida, Fuck known not for about his wild nigga. antics and viral hits like Gucci Gang and Love It featuring Kanye West. Pump is also well known for his wild behavior, which includes kicking a fan in the face in Seattle. The rapper first blew up back in 2016 when tracks like D-Rose and Boss went viral on SoundCloud and he co-headlined the No Jumper tour with his friend and collaborator Smoke Perp in 2017. At a Seattle date on that tour, Pump got into it with a fan who was being rude. Footage of the fight shows Perp and Pump stop the show after a fan allegedly yells out fuck Lil Pump. Pump clearly feels disrespected because he asks the dude what's up and tells him to come up on the stage. Who said that shit? Who said that shit? Come here, come up here nigga, come up here, what's up? What's up nigga, come up here, what's up? The guy is clearly looking for attention because he does what Pump says and as soon as he's close enough, Pump kicks him in the face. The dude tries to fight back before one of the guys in the rapper's entourage. That's mad pussy, I'm on cap Lil Pumpy pussy as hell bro. How you gonna tell the nigga come up here? So I'm thinking you about to give the nigga the ones. Before he even has the chance to come up, you kick the nigga in the face before he even gets on the stage and then your homie is beating him up. Nigga, don't call him out for the ones if you're not finna give him the ones, bro. Don't tell him to come up here if you're not if you're not giving him a fair shot, bro. You pussy for that. I'm not cop. You only felt tough because you had niggas around you. That you knew was gonna do some shit. They didn't even let the nigga get on stage to fight you. You thought he wasn't gonna say that it was him. Raj starts swinging on him and they both fall back into the crowd. The fight goes on for a pretty long time without security jumping in, and even the fans start getting in on the action. One of Pump's friends jumps up, grabs onto the rafters of the second floor, and delivers a crazy kick to the guy's face. After the show, a blogger caught up with the dude Pump kicked and asked for his side of the story. The guy is pretty intoxicated and is more than willing to pose for the cameras. He says that he wasn't the one who said fuck Lil Pump, but he took the heat when Pump asked who did it. Why someone would take the heat for something they didn't say and then brag about getting their ass beat is hard to tell. He's but like, the he's guy high. clearly wasn't thinking straight. That nigga high on drugs, bro. Come on. I just said it was me. It's me? Yeah. He said, who said that? I was like, it was Nah, this nigga like a zombie, my nigga. Bro. This is the shit that's going to come on in 2022, bro. Niggas going to start looking like... It. Nah, he did like a fucking me, zombie. Me, though. What you say? What you say? I said it was me. Yeah, nah. Yeah, Pump saw that, saw the crazy in his eyes, saw the crack in his, in his eyes, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to fight that nigga no more. That's why, that's why he did that. But what are you saying before that? Oh, I didn't say shit. <laughs> I didn't say shit. I didn't say, I didn't say shit. shit. I was like, it was me, dog. I said that. Whether he actually just took credit for someone else's diss or he was too drunk to remember what happened is hard to tell. But it does seem wild that Pump would get so mad about someone saying f little Pump 
when he made a career off of saying F J. Cole, only to do an interview with him not long after. Yet, Lil Pump isn't the only rapper who's had to fight a fan during the show. This next rapper, Superman punched a I fan from that. the stage after he made some disrespectful comments. Migos. The Migos are a rap trio from Atlanta known for hit tracks like Bad and Bougie and Fight Night. The Migos are now considered mainstream pop stars and one of the most successful hip hop acts currently working in the industry. But before becoming superstars, the trio grew up on the mean streets of Gwinnett County, Georgia and are always willing to throw down. Back in 2014, the trio was involved in a massive brawl at a concert in Springfield, Massachusetts after a fan said something disrespectful. In footage of the concert, you can see Offset chilling up on the stage while Quavo on Takeoff performed the song Give No F Out of nowhere, He's Offset Falcon cocks back him. his fist and does a Superman dive into the crowd, perfectly in sync with Nah, that's a Falcon Punch, nigga. Stop playing with him. The beat of the song. The crowd goes wild, and Quavo plus some other members of the Migos crew jump into the crowd to get his back. It's not clear from the video what the fans said, but it must have been pretty disrespectful for Offset to risk his own safety trying to jump on him from the stage. But that's not the only time Offset has done a crazy stage dive after a fan was being disrespectful. In January 2020, TMZ released footage of Offset pulling a similar move after a fan sprayed his wife Cardi B with champagne. Cardi and Offset were at a Miami strip club called The Booty Trap, but someone in the crowd started spraying champagne all over the couple and everyone else up on stage. At first, Offset is in the crowd, but then jumps up and starts trying to scout out who did it. He spots the guy, then leaps off the stage and slaps him in the face. Security had to pull him off the dude, and after that, he and Cardi had to leave the club. Nah, that's nigga off. That's his go-to move, my nigga. It's like, that's his WWE finisher, the fucking Falcon Punch, bro. Nigga just gets on stage and just that's that's yo. If he goes to the WWE, bro, name it a Falcon Punch and start doing shit like that. My man, that's a that's a uh, uh, the second time was a worthy time to do that, bro. If a nigga disrespecting my wife, I'm about to pull out the offset and the Falcon and the Falcon Punch. Feel me? I'm about to pull the, pull that out. The first time though, I don't think it was that serious. Whatever the fan said, it wasn't that serious. To risk it, fucking to get sued, bro. Come on, nigga's a fucking multi millionaire. If that nigga Falcon Punch me, just know I'm getting a bag. So even though Offset's become an A-list celebrity, he still doesn't tolerate the bullshit. But Offset isn't the only rapper who doesn't tolerate disrespect. This next artist slapped the daylights out of a dude in a convenience store after he told him that what he that wasn't fake? a real rapper, Lil Boosie. Lil Boosie is a rapper from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who came up in the early 2000s. Boosie built a name for himself after signing to the legendary Trill Entertainment label, started by Houston legend, Pimp C, as well as his collaborations with fellow Baton Rouge rapper, Webby. Boosie is also known for being a genuine street artist who raps about his reality growing up in the wild streets of Baton Rouge. Boosie famously beat a murder charge in 2010, which carried the death penalty, while still having to serve five years for unrelated drug charges. So Boosie isn't just creating an image for the camera, he really comes from the struggle that he raps about. Check out our video on rappers who beat a murder charge for more info on his murder case. But when you come from such a rough environment, it can be hard to leave the street mentality alone. He recently ended up brutally slapping the guy in the face in a convenience store for disrespecting his rapping abilities. In March 2021, a video was leaked onto the internet of Boosie slapping the guy in a bodega for talking tough. In the next video, Boosie and his crew walk up to the cashier to buy something and a guy standing next to the counter starts running his mouth. This man looks homeless and sounds like he's drunk. He asked Boosie how he considers himself a real rapper and mumbles incoherently about himself not being a credible artist. Boosie, clearly tired of the disrespect, gets in the guy's face and hits him square in the cheek. At first, fans were shocked that Boosie would slap a homeless guy who may have had mental problems or drug issues even if he was being disrespectful. But not long after, it was revealed that the whole thing was a stunt for a music video yeah. featuring the baby. The baby released some behind the scenes footage to Instagram, revealing that he paid the guy $554 to take the slap for the video. The post also shows Boosie telling the guy what to say and what he's gonna do. Yo. I knew that shit was fake. I was about to say, there's no way that I nigga actually smacked that nigga like that. Like, I'm, I was there when they confirmed it. I wasn't there, but I was, I was online when they confirmed that shit was fake. Hey, let me get some back to You want me to rap? You can't rap. Um, how you gonna tell me you a goddamn rap? <laughs> nah, that nigga smacked that nigga hard as shit. I'm not gonna hold. Got it. Five hundred, five hundred dollars. I guess is enough to get one smack. He probably bought hella crack with that shit, but still, y'all give me a band, nigga. I'm not gonna smack for five hundred. I'm gonna hold. The video was for the song "Period," which debuted on April 16, 2021. It served as an intro skit before the song starts. On the track, Boosie reminds listeners that he isn't one to play with in case anyone forgot. Even though the fight wasn't real, it does seem pretty convincing. It kinda is the perfect prank because shown out of context, it seems believable. 
Boosie is an artist who doesn't tolerate disrespect and isn't the kind of guy you want to piss off. Although an old school gangster like Boosie probably wouldn't smack someone on camera like that while everyone has their cell phones out, especially since he's almost 40 years old now. But the clip was a good way for Boosie and the baby to create some hype for their track and promote the collaboration. At least this guy got paid to be smacked by a famous rapper and didn't just get bitch slapped for talking some trash. If you like this video, check out some of our previous and that was a good video. If y'all enjoyed that video, man, drop a like, subscribe. Who y'all think had the, I guess, the best fight? Who y'all think had the worst fight? I'm not a cop. The worst fight was definitely Lil Pump. He did some big shit by kicking a nigga before he actually got on the stage. Because don't call a nigga out for the ones and then do some shit like that. I'm not going to hold. And the best one, I'll probably say Offset, nigga. I'm not going to hold it. With the WWE finisher, Falcon Punch. Feel me? That nigga. Yeah. He's a demon. If you enjoyed that video, man, drop a like, subscribe, roll to 1,000 subscribers, feel me? Uh, it's your boy, Mighty Max, and uh, I'm out.